Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and yesterday Apple released WatchOS 9 RC, or Release Candidate. It's the final version that releases to the public, but you get it early as a developer or public beta tester. As long as there's no additional changes or things they need to fix with bugs, this will be the final version. Now, it said paused here, so we didn't get to see the actual size, but this was about 400 megabytes or so when I installed this. Not a huge update, but the overall update should be a little bit bigger when it comes out to the public if you're on WatchOS 8 of any version of those. Now this released alongside iOS 16 RC and Apple has announced that the official release date is in a few days. It releases on September 12th, 2022, along with iOS 16 and watchOS 9, and then tvOS 16 and HomePod OS 16 iPad OS 16 or 16.1 will be out in October along with Mac OS Ventura. Now this particular update does have some changes compared to the previous update. So there's a few things to look at, but first let's go into our settings. Then we'll go to general then about, and we'll take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So you can see the version says 20R361, and that just lets you know what the current build is. And that should be the final build released to the public. Now, the first thing that we can see that's new is an all new compass. Apple announced three new watches yesterday, the Apple watch ultra Apple watch eight and Apple watch SE. And with that introduced this all new compass, it's completely redesigned. So let's zoom in here and take a closer look. Now, as I move it, of course, it's changing in real time. And we also have a feature dependent on which watch you have. This is called backtrack. You can start backtrack and it says Apple watch can record your route in case you get lost. So it will actually sort of make waypoints as you walk, whether you're hiking or maybe you're riding a bike or something else, it will make waypoints so that you can figure out where you're at to go back. And you also have a waypoint marker here in the lower left that identifies where you're at. So if we go into that, it will actually give you detailed information and I won't scroll down as it will give my direct location with everything from latitude and longitude to tell you exactly where you are, but it lets you know where you're at. There's also an overall different style compass as well. And as you can see here, it's giving more information as far as incline and elevation and also latitude and longitude. Of course, I won't scroll down for the same reason, it gives the precise location, but this is great. They've updated this on the different Apple watches. Some of the features though are not available to all Apple watches. So it's nice that they've added this though. Now, another thing that they've added that's really nice is maybe you have an Apple watch and you've always liked those Nike watch faces. Now on our phone, if we go over to the watch app and we go to face gallery, if you've always wanted those Apple Nike plus watch faces, but never had a Nike plus watch, they've actually added it for everyone now in the face gallery. So we can use the Nike plus watch faces. And as we scroll down, you'll see Nike analog, Nike bounce, Nike compact, Nike digital, Nike hybrid. And if you have an Apple watch Hermes watch, you also get a new horse face watch face. So it's sort of a silhouette of a horse on the side. And that's something that's new for Hermes watches. So all of those things are new that's added in RC. It'll of course be there with the final release. Now also they've added a new low power mode. So if we go back to the watch within the watch, if we go to our control center, tap on the battery, you'll see we have low power mode. It used to be sort of a power reserve mode. Now we can turn it on and it actually warns us as to what it does. It says save battery life by turning off always on display and limiting the sensors as well as the cellular and Wi-Fi connections of your Apple watch. Notifications may be delayed and emergency alerts may not arrive. And this will turn off features such as background heart rate measurement, heart rate notification, irregular rhythm notifications, blood oxygen measurements. So you can turn that on or turn it on for a set amount of time. So we'll turn it on for now. You'll see it changes the battery icon to yellow, puts a little yellow icon at the top to let you know you're in low power mode. And also if you put it on the charger, it has a little different animation or not different animation, but different color for the charging. So let me put in my passcode and we'll try it again. Now let's put it on the charger and you'll see that we have a new yellow icon and they've changed the little lightning bolt a little bit. And when you're in low power mode, it will be yellow. So that's just a slight change, something they've updated. And also if you tap on the battery icon there or the battery percentage, it will say charging to full. You'll have an option if you're at 80%, maybe for optimized battery charging, where you can actually press to charge to full. So that's something they've added in this update. And if we go back and turn off low power mode, so we'll turn that off. Everything switches back to green. And then again, if we put it back on the charger, the same thing will happen. So we'll give it a second. Sometimes it doesn't react right away, but we'll try again here. 
you'll see it switches and now we have the green icon back but if we tap on the power icon again charging to full so it's a nice little change there if we go into stopwatch there's a change so if we go into stopwatch hit start on our digital watch we can now record lap so if we tap lap then when someone comes back around we can hit lap again or if we're running ourselves and then hit stop so we can record our lap just by tapping that over and over also within the code of watch os 9 there's mentions of fido security so maybe we could use this as a security key via bluetooth like we can with some of the bluetooth fido security keys or yubi keys so that's possible whether or not that's for series 7 apple watch is hard to say but either way it was in the code now, as far as the bug fixes and things they've updated, well, if we go to our notes in the feedback app, you can see here, there's some notes and known issues. So the release notes give some information about still some known issues that exist, but not a ton of things. So you'll see devices running beta four or later aren't backward compatible with devices running earlier beta versions. So that's just a few things as far as maybe pairing your Apple watch. And then as we go down, you'll see there's some new features that they mentioned, some for developers developers and also voice shortcuts has a known issue. It says when saying an app shortcut phrase to Siri, Siri launches the app or ends up with an unexpected result. And then again, there's still that wallet issue with American express cards that might need to be removed and re-added to wallet after updating to watch OS nine beta six or later. So still a few things in here, but most of the time they fix these pretty quickly and these are not any major issues. So they've fixed most of these issues overall and They've also said that they're going to recalibrate and estimate better battery capacity on the series four and series five watches. They've done this in the past with different watches and overall battery shouldn't be different anyway. Of course, there's some bug fixes as well, but watch OS nine has actually been pretty stable as I've been using it. Performance has been nice and fast and I've really had no issues whatsoever except for maybe the earliest betas. Typically those have some bugs, but so far this seems to be nice and fast, whether you're going into a workout here, loading different apps and everything else. It's nice and fast that way. A battery life seems to be pretty good as well. I took this off the charger this morning and you'll see we're at 93%. So it's been on the entire time recording this video and that low power mode should really help if you need to get through the rest of your day and you don't have time to charge. Otherwise I wouldn't use it regularly, but battery life overall, I would expect it to be about the same. It's been pretty good on all of the betas and gotten me through the day. And just for those of you that are curious that ask me, we'll go into settings. We'll go down to battery give it just a moment here to get down here and then battery health. This is at 98% after a year. So pretty good overall. I charge it every night seems to be lasting just fine. Of course, yesterday, Apple announced that new Apple watch ultra, the Apple watch series eight and Apple watch SE, like I mentioned before. And of course, as soon as I get my hands on them, I'll have videos about all the different watches. Now, if there's anything that you want to know about the watch, maybe you weren't able to find from Apple yesterday, or you just haven't been able to find an answer to let me know in the comments below. And I'll try and answer that. Of course, if you found anything else in Apple watch, 9RC. Of course, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.